What are lambdas in Python? Lambdas are small anonymous functions that can be defined inline. They take a number of arguments, use an expression to process them, and return a value. They allow writing quick throwaway functions. How are arguments passed in Python by value or by reference? Python passes arguments by assignment meaning names are bound to objects. Everything in Python is an object so all parameters are passed by reference. Rebinding a new object to a name inside a function does not affect the caller. What is the difference between a list and a tuple in Python? Lists are mutable, the contents can be changed. Tuples are immutable, the contents cannot be changed after creation. Lists are defined with square brackets. Tuples use parentheses. How can you share data between processes in Python? Processes can share data through shared memory like value or array, using multiprocessing queues, pipes, socket connections, or a server process with listeners. Sync primitives like locks can coordinate access. What is monkey patching in Python? Monkey patching is dynamically modifying code at runtime. It involves extending or modifying existing code by replacing functions, classes, or methods at runtime. Useful for testing or temporary patches. What are Python namespaces and scopes? Python scopes include local, global, and non-local. Namespaces are places where names slash variables are stored, created at module, class, or function level. Global names are accessible from all scopes while locals are only in scope. What is PEP8 and why is it important? PEP8 is Python's official style guide. It covers topics like whitespace, comments, naming conventions, programming practices. It helps create readable, maintainable code. Important for collaborating. How does inheritance work in Python? Python supports inheritance by allowing classes to subclass and inherit methods and attributes from parent classes. It supports multiple inheritance as well as polymorphism. Methods can be overridden in subclasses. What is the difference between deep and shallow copies in Python? Shallow copy constructs a new object and inserts references to the original elements. Deep copy makes fully independent clones of the original elements. Shallow copies save time and memory but don't clone child objects. How can you profile Python code to improve performance? Python can be profiled to improve performance. C profile and profile provide deterministic profiling. Timelight can be used for small snippets. Tracing profiles line by line. Memory profiler tracks memory usage. Optimizations include algorithms, data structures, and caching. What is the difference between str and representing methods in Python? str returns the informal string representation of an object used for print output. Representing computes the official representation used for debugging and recreation. STR aims to be readable, representing unambiguous. How do you handle exceptions in Python? Use try slash accept blocks to handle exceptions gracefully. Catch specific exception classes to handle separately from generic exception. Use finally clause to execute code regardless of exceptions. Raise custom exceptions with raise. Use assert to check for conditions that should always be true. What is the difference between deep and shallow copies of objects in Python? Shallow copy is a new object referencing the original elements. Deep copy makes fully independent clone of the original elements. Shallow copies are faster but do not clone child objects. Deep copies are slower but clone all attributes. How can you profile your Python code to improve performance? Use cProfile, profile modules to profile CPU usage. Time might measure small code snippets. Trace profiles code line by line. Memory profiling tracks memory usage over time. Optimize data structures, algorithms, caching for performance. What are some built-in Python data structures? Main built-in data structures are lists, tuples, dictionaries, sets. Lists are ordered, mutable sequences. Tuples are immutable sequences. Dicks store mappings of keys and values. Sets are unordered collections of unique elements. 
What is slicing in Python? Slicing allows accessing parts of sequences like strings, lists, tuples. Uses, start, stop, step, syntax. Leaving parts blank takes defaults of start equals zero, stop equals size, step equals one. Use for copying parts of sequences. How does inheritance work in Python? Inheritance allows a class to inherit attributes and methods from a parent class. Uses the class child class, parent class, syntax. Supports multiple inheritance from multiple parents. Customizes behavior by overriding inherited methods. What is unit testing and how do you do it in Python? Unit testing verifies individual components work correctly. In Python, use built-in Unitist module or third-party tools like PyTest. Tests are grouped into test cases subclassing Unitist.testCase. Assertions check for expected results. How can you make Python code concurrent? Threading allows running code concurrently within one process. Use thread class and threading module. Multiprocessing runs code in separate processes for parallelization. Asyncio allows asynchronous cooperative multitasking. What is the usage of help and DIR functions in Python? Help displays documentation for a module, class, or object. Useful for quick reference without importing docs. DIR lists valid attributes of an object. Helpful for interactive debugging and exploring. What is a generator function in Python? A generator function returns a generator object that produces values on demand instead of returning them all at once. Use yield instead of return. Each call to next generates a new value. Useful for lazily producing large sequences. How are variables scoped in Python? Python has function, class, global, and module scopes. Variables assigned inside a function are local. Variables assigned at top level of module are global. The global keyword declares a global variable. Non-local keyword for outer function scopes. What does this mean, asterisk args and corgs? Asterisk args captures excess positional arguments as a tuple. Corgs captures excess keyword arguments as a dict. Used to accept arbitrary arguments when number is unknown. Can be used together in a function definition. How do you install external modules in Python? Use pip to install from PYPI. Format is pip install module. Other sources are distributions, GitHub, source. Virtual environments via virtual and isolate module versions. What is list comprehension in Python? List comprehension provides compact syntax for creating lists. Expression is evaluated for each element and appended to output list. More efficient and readable than for loops. Can contain multiple for slash if clauses. What is the purpose of doc strings in Python? Doc strings document code by explaining usage and parameters. Triple quotes below function slash class slash method define the doc string. Available via doc attribute at runtime. Used by help and IDEs for code insight. What is polymorphism in Python? Polymorphism allows treating objects of different classes interchangeably if they share a common interface, e.g. different shapes with a common area method. Python method overriding enables this by checking the object class. What is encapsulation in Python? Encapsulation hides implementation details with a public interface. In Python, underscore prefix denotes private methods and attributes. Name mangling used to prevent clashes in subclasses. Methods like len and representing are examples. What are different Python frameworks for web development? Popular Python web frameworks are Django, Flask, FastAPI, Pyramid, Bottle, Tornado, Falcon, etc. Django is full-featured. Flask is lightweight. FastAPI is high-performance. Most provide routing, templating, security, ORM integration. How can you run Python code in parallel? Multiprocessing module allows spinning separate Python interpreters to run code concurrently. Pool class creates process pools. Map and apply underscore async run code concurrently. 
use shared memory for shared state. How is multi-threading achieved in Python? The threading module is used to run multiple threads concurrently within a process. Thread class creates threads. Start launches a thread. Join waits for completion. Lock objects allow thread safe access. What are decorators in Python? Decorators are functions that wrap other functions to extend behavior without modifying it. Use at decorator syntax. Allows wrapping with logging, permissions, caching, etc. Commonly used for checking preconditions. What is init.py file used for? Init.py indicates to Python that the containing folder is a package. Can execute package initialization code. Imports submodules. Allows cleaner imports like import package instead of full path. What is the difference between lists and tuples? Lists are mutable contents can be changed. Tuples are immutable contents cannot be changed after creation. Lists use brackets. Tuples use parentheses. Faster access in tuples since immutable. How can you share data between processes? Multiprocessing module provides ways to share data like shared memory, queues, pipes, sockets. Value slash array stores data in shared memory. Queue passes messages between processes. Pipe connects process I.O. What is serialization in Python? Serialization converts object state to bytes for storage slash transfer. Pickle, JSON modules are used. Pickle serializes to binary format, JSON to JSON text format. Useful for saving app state, communication via sockets. What are some differences between Python 2.x and Python 3.x? Print is function, Unicode by default, new concurrent.futures, corgs and range slash zip slash map, non-local keyword, extended unpacking generalization, etc. Some old features removed like range. How does Python handle memory management? Python uses private heaps to manage memory. Memory allocated from an arena is freed when no longer referenced. Garbage collector recycles and frees unreferenced objects. Reference counting tracks allocated objects. What is PEP8 and why is it important? PEP8 is the Python style guide. It provides standards for code layout, naming, documenting to maximize readability. Using PEP8 makes code consistent across projects and helps collaboration. How can you debug Python code? Use built-in PDB module. Set breakpoints. Watch variables. Execute line by line with next. Debug in IDEs like PyCharm. Logging prints debug info. Ref actor for simplicity. Review traceback on exceptions. What are lambdas and how are they used? Lambdas are anonymous functions defined inline. Take arguments, execute expression, return result. Use for simple functionalities. Passed around and used like regular functions. Often used with map, filter, reduce. How does Python handle import conflicts? Aliases resolve conflicts between module names. Import mod as alt allows separate imports. For mod import x as y aliases specific imports. If name equals equals main avoids executing on import. What is Python GIL and how does it impact performance? GIL, global interpreter lock, limits Python to one thread at a time. Limits native parallelism but enables efficient memory management. Multi-threaded code runs concurrently but GIL serializes execution. Multiprocessing fully parallelizes computation.